On Monday, Mixcloud, the very popular website where DJs can share their mixes and tracks, announced that they would be launching a live service with one key difference to the likes of Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. On Mixcloud Live, you can play copyrighted songs and not have your sets taken down. So let's take a first look at it and show you how to set it up. So for those who don't already know, Mixcloud is a website where DJs can upload their mixes and their tracks and remixes. And unlike rival services offered by SoundCloud, they won't get taken down for copyright use. This is due to the way Mixcloud operates as a business and the licenses they hold. But the long story short is that Mixcloud actually pays the artists for their tracks being used inside your mixes. So when Mixcloud announced on Monday that they would be starting a live broadcasting uh, platform, this was like music to a lot of DJs ears. Finally, a service where we can go live and we don't have to worry about what tracks are playing and we won't have to worry about getting muted or the streams being taken down as we would do when we're streaming on YouTube or on Facebook. So Mixcloud is a paid service. Um, you can open up a free account, but to use a live broadcasting, you have to be a pro subscription member. This costs around $15 or nine pounds here in the UK but there is a three months free trial currently running. So make sure you have a go at the service, subscribe to it. When you do have the pro subscription at the top of Mixcloud's website, it does say, Psst, we've been working on live streaming as a pro creator, you can try it out now and you can click the try it out now button. If you cannot see that, go to mixcloud.com forward slash live and you will enter your live area so what you're going to need to know is that your um, streams your broadcast will always be displayed at mixcloud.com forward slash live forward slash your username so for me it's mixcloud.com forward slash live forward slash dj james hond if i want to create a new stream and go live again you know create a new broadcast what i have to go to is mixcloud.com forward slash live forward slash new when we're in this um, destination in our web browser, we can name the stream. Now we can only name this stream once, so make sure you call it what you want it to be called. Um, I'm just gonna call it Crossfader Demo, because obviously I'm just demonstrating this to you here. So confirm my stream name. And then you get to this second page. It's called Setup Stream Key. So this is your details that you need to add into your broadcasting software. Now. Unlike Facebook and um, YouTube, you cannot go live inside the app. You know, there is no web interface where you can just plug a webcam in and go live. You will need to have some sort of broadcasting software. OBS is the most popular because it's free. We do have a video on how to use OBS. Click in the top right hand corner if you would like to see that. So we're gonna do this demonstration using OBS, but you could use various other softwares, uh, Ecamm, vMix, um, Streamlabs, there's, there's so many. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our stream inside OBS. So I'm just gonna open up OBS here. You see, hello everyone, I have a stream set up. It's a very simple one. I don't have my webcams plugged in right now, but for this demonstration, I can show you just how to set up. So set up your stream as you'd like to, and then we're gonna go down to settings. And in settings, we're gonna go to stream, and we're gonna click on custom. In here, we can now enter the details from Mixcloud. So Mixcloud, the server will always stay the same. So you can just click that, it copies it to your uh, clipboard. And then we can go to server here, Control V or Command V, Windows or Mac. And there we go, that's in there. Now the second one, your stream key, this changes every single time that you go live. So Remember to change this when you're going live for a second time. You will need to go back into OBS or your software of choice and change the stream key every time you go live. So click that, copies it. And I'm just gonna press there. Press OK, we're set up, we're ready to go live. However, when I was using 
Mixcloud Live on the day it launched to test a few things and you know get my head around it. I did something that a lot of other people haven't figured out to do yet, so I'd like to share that information with you. What I did was, because with Mixcloud, it's important to know that this software is in beta, so it's a new service. Um, it's not meant to be used by the public yet in mass amounts. They're still testing things and working it out. And the biggest drawback at the moment is that because Mixcloud is not a platform everyone uses daily, so you know your people are scrolling through Facebook, they're scrolling through YouTube, but they're not scrolling through Mixcloud as often. And Mixcloud doesn't have a way yet of notifying people when you're live. So when I go live on Mixcloud, there won't be a notification on people's phones. There won't be a notification in the bottom right corner of the screen telling them that Crossfader or DJ Holland is live. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to take that URL, I mean, it's handy that it stays the same all the time, but you're gonna to have to take that mixcloud.com forward slash live forward slash DJ James Holland in my example. You're gonna to have to give that link to your audience when you go live. So you know, you're gonna to have to create images, promo content for other platforms to get people onto Mixcloud because otherwise they're never going to know that you're live. I mean, you can even be on my profile when I go live on Mixcloud, just my normal profile, and it won't notify you. So you have to have that link for the live video. Massive drawback, and I'm sure they will work on it, but the time being, that is a drawback. So what I thought was, well, no one's going to know I'm over there, so what I'll do is I'll go live on Facebook at the same time. Now, we've covered how to stream to multiple platforms in our OBS video using a system called Restream. So if I head to Restream, because I want to go live on Facebook, I want to go live on YouTube, I want to go live on Twitch, and I want to go live on Mixcloud, because you know, why not? Uh, it will get the audience numbers up, people are gonna know I'm live, and then when I'm live on say Facebook or on YouTube, I can drop a comment into those videos and say, look, if this video gets taken down because of copyright, which it most likely will, come join me, on Mixcloud and we won't have any issues with the stream being taken down. So that's the easiest way to get people over to Mixcloud. So we're gonna to have to use Restream for that. So when I go to Restream, I can see here I've got my Facebook, I've got my YouTube set up as normal. But when I go to Add Channel, you'll see there's so many services that I can click into and use. However, because Mixcloud's a brand new service, there is no Mixcloud preset. There's no button I can just press. So how do you set it up? What you've got to do is you've got to go to custom RTMP down at the bottom here. And then much like we've just done in OBS in the previous example, we need to input the server details and stream key to Restream. So I'm just gonna do that now. and the stream key as well. Now, if you're not using Restream and you're just going live from your software like OBS, you can ignore all this, but I'm just gonna add this channel to my Restream, and you can see it's just added in there at the bottom, custom RTMP. So, what I'm gonna do is, I because I've just changed to Restream, I need OBS to send the stream to Restream, and then Restream will send the stream from there to Mixcloud, Facebook, and YouTube. So I just need to quickly change my OBS settings. Now, like I said, if you're not using Restream, ignore this bit, you're already set up and ready to go. But because I am, I'm just gonna go into the settings and change the stream from custom back to Restream, and then grab my stream key from here and put it in here. So I've just set up OBS to send that stream Instead of to Mixcloud, like I'd previously just shown you, I've sent it just to go to Restream, and then Restream will send it from there to Mixcloud. So I'm gonna hit Start Streaming, and in the bottom right corner you see there's a green icon, I've gone live here. So if I go to Restream, I should get a streaming monitor here. Here I am, slightly delayed. And this toggle, put the toggle to on, when you've got a toggle on, it means it's sending it to the other service. Facebook and YouTube have left off for the time being. And then, all of a sudden, the details from that stream key details on the server, that's disappeared and it said, you are not live yet, this is a preview. That's because Restream has sent the feed, or OBS, or whatever you're using, has sent the feed to Mixcloud. Mixcloud's detected something's about to come in and it's taken them settings away because you've successfully used them and it's giving you this preview window. Now, this preview window does take 
quite a while, as you can see, to load up. Um, it's a problem that they will have to address. It is in beta, so we won't hark on about it too much, but there is like a, a four or five second delay, which is a bit annoying. So as you can see, the feeds finally started to come through to the preview window. Now this took about a minute and a half to two minutes. It's a very long waiting time. You know, just don't start your stream and immediately start doing things. Give it a few minutes, make sure everything is working properly. And then when you're ready, and you can see the preview coming through, you can just hit go live now, and your stream is going live on Mixcloud. As I said, this is going through Restream at the moment, but if you were going through OBS, the process would be the exact same. Just input the settings that we did first of all, and boom, you're going live on Mixcloud. So it's a great service. It doesn't allow you to be taken down by copyright holders, which is great. It makes sure that people get paid for the music you're playing. And in future, I'm hearing that streaming and the mixes that you put on there can actually be monetized so you earn money for broadcasting yourself. I mean, that is quite crazy to think that other platforms will take you down and will not allow you to express your talents. And Mixcloud, in the coming months, will actually pay you for going live. So, in a world where streaming is more important than ever, that's how to set up Mixcloud. It is still in beta, it is a little bit clunky here and there, but the more people that use it, the more data they can collect, and the better the system will get in the months to come. And there we have it, Mixcloud Live. It's a great service, um, it offers a lot for DJs that are constantly getting their streams taken down. However, it is in a beta stage, it's not finished, and it's not perfect. You know, the biggest drawbacks of this have got to be the fact that you have to generate your own audience to get on that link. You know, they can't just find you naturally. There's no, unlike Facebook or YouTube, where a notification will pop up on the phones or you can be scrolling through the app and it'll say, oh, such and such has gone live. You are going to have to get people sharing that link, clicking on that link to visit your stream because people, even on the Mixcloud website, won't be able to see that you're live, even if they're viewing your profile. It's also worth remembering that your set is not saved afterwards. I don't know if this is something that will be coming in the future. Hopefully it will be, but as soon as you end that stream, it's gone. So if you do want to record your streams, you're better off recording it internally on your laptop. I hope you've enjoyed this first look and quick setup guide with Mixcloud Live. If you have, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content just like this. And as always, keep safe, and we'll see you in another video. Thank you very much.